when you're developing e-learning in Captivate, one of the things you're going to be looking for all the time is great assets to use in your project. For instance, cutout people. Now, if I go to the media tool in Captivate and I choose characters, Captivate does come with a fair amount of media assets. I'm in the business category, but if you take a look, there is a casual category. There's a medicine category. I'm going to choose a character, perhaps this one, and I'll choose a pose. I can choose from close up, half, or full. I'm going to go with half, and I'll click OK. And that's awesome. The image comes in to captivate like any other asset. You can resize it, you can play around with it, that kind of thing. Now the assets that come with Captivate through the media tool are great, but they're only going to get you so far. And one of the really cool things about Captivate 9 is Adobe and the eLearning Brothers teamed up, and you'll find this assets tool on your toolbar. And if I click that, I go right to the eLearning Brothers website. Now when you do this, you are going to have to log in. You'll need a free account with the eLearning Brothers, and I've already logged into my account, and then I'm taken to this page. And as you can see, there are 30,000 eLearning assets that you get just for having Adobe Captivate 9. No additional purchase necessary from the eLearning Brothers. Now to use the assets, I'm going to click Cut Out People, and I want Photorealistic. I'm going to choose, let's go with Zoe. Pick a pose. You get your choice of three different sizes, and I tend to go with the larger size just in case I'm likely to make my picture smaller, not necessarily bigger. But if you start with a big picture, it's going to be a whole lot easier to size it down than to start with a small graphic and try to size it up. So I'm going to download this one. Then I'm told the download was complete. I'll click OK. And I'll close the assets page. And the final thing is, well, how do you bring in those assets? You might have expected the picture to show up on your screen, and a lot of people do. Here's how you grab the asset and actually use it on a slide. I'll choose media again, just like I did to get this first character. I'll choose characters again. But this time, I'm going to go to the assets category. And when I do, there is the picture that I just grabbed. Once again, close up, half or full. This time I'm going to choose close up and click OK. There's my asset. Awesome.